All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be about this knife, and this is the Case Copperhead. And the Case Copperhead is the vault release pattern for 2021. And I've been getting the vault release knives, or at least one of them each year for the past now three years. And um, I think it's a cool thing that Case has been doing. So what the vault release series is, is Case brings back a pattern that they haven't made in a while. So now, some of them have been made more recently than, than others, um, but they're knives that were discontinued and Case is bringing them back to production for one year. And um, they make a lot of different versions and it just so happens that I've ended up getting the yellow synthetic version the last three years. So uh, first I wanna show you what the, the, the last two um, fault release knives were. So in 2019, it was the Barlow. And that's really what got me interested in these uh, vault release knives because I enjoy Barlow knives and um, I've always wanted to have a case Barlow. I've had some vintage ones in the past, but they didn't make them. Uh, so when they started making them as the vault release, I wanted to get one. I actually got this one from Darren Oral for a really good price. I had gotten a different version and it came with too many issues for me to overlook, so I returned it. Um, but this one was pretty good, especially I got it for, uh, I think, about $40. And um, it does have some gaps, as you can see. Uh, after getting it and sharpening it, taking away the really toothy edge that Case puts on, I did notice that I think it had some blade wrap, so I had to sharpen that out. Um, and this is CV, so it's Case's um, non-stainless steel. And so I've enjoyed this knife, I've used it and everything, and it doesn't have the blade wrap anymore. And then in 2020, they did the Pocket Hunter. So the Pocket Hunter is like a mini version, a really mini version of the Case Hunter. So it has a clip point main blade. Um, some of them are single bladed, as well as some of them are single bladed on the, the uh, Barlow, but mine is a pen and clip. And then on the Pocket Hunter, some of them had the secondary, what Case calls a Skinner blade. Now I got the yellow synthetic in, in this one because again, it was. I think the cheapest version and uh, came out pretty much right at the beginning and also to kind of start a little bit of a collection. Um, this one though, unlike the Barlow, is uh, Case's True Sharp Stainless Steel. So, um, you know, you don't have to worry about it rusting and everything, but this one also had some blade wrap that I realized after sharpening, again, the rough edge away. Has some gaps also, uh, but it's a cool little knife. I enjoy mini knives. So when Case announced the Copperhead as the 2021 knife, um, I was really excited. And one thing is that they didn't announce it for a while. Uh, previous years, I believe they've announced the vault release pattern a little earlier. They didn't announce this until I think the start of 2021. And actually, I heard about it first from the Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog. Um, so Smoky Mountain Knife Works obviously has a lot of case knives, sells a lot of case knives, and um, I think that it might have been, you know, announced there in the, the catalog first. So um, I decided to get one, and again, I got the yellow synthetic, and uh, it, again, uh, at least so far, was the cheapest version at just under $50. Uh, I got free shipping because I ordered some other stuff also from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, but um, right around $50 with shipping. And uh, it's a knife that, that I was happy was the pattern. Uh, the Copperhead is a knife that I've had other versions from other companies of, and also I've seen some Case Copperheads, some older ones. Uh, so the Copperhead is the 49 pattern for Case. So you can see 3, 2, 49. And as you can see, this is also CV or chrome vanadium carbon steel. And uh, again, they have different versions. There is at least one version that's a single clip point blade coming. Um, they also have obviously clip point and pen blades. And then there's a Warren Cliff main and pen secondary version, at least a couple of those also. But the kind of most classic version of the case copperhead is a clip point main blade with a pen secondary behind. And uh, the copperhead is an old pattern for case. So Case has made the Copperhead, or at least started making the Copperhead a, a long time ago, probably a, a, at least, if not maybe slightly more than 100 years ago in the uh, pre-tested era for Case. So 1920 and before. Um, so it is an older pattern for Case, and it's probably a pattern or a type of knife 
that has been made even before then. There are examples from France and Germany that have this characteristic bolster. So let's talk about what the copperhead pattern is. Well, it's a jackknife typically. Now, Case does make a mini copperhead that they uh, they call a copperhead that is a pen, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a pen style knife. So that means that it has the main blade on one end and the secondary blade on the other end. But typically a copperhead is a jackknife like this. And the thing that kind of typifies it is this unique humped bolster. So you can see that it's not just a straight rounded bolster like you might see on this knife or a squared bolster like on this knife or a rounded bolster like on the pocket hunter but instead it has this hump and that hump does a couple things uh, if this was a single bladed knife it could function somewhat as a guard so it gives your kind of a finger a little bit of an indexing cue to you know tell you when to not slide your hand anymore forward or you'll get cut um, but on the two bladed version it serves to help cover the corner of the blade tags. So this is something that does a couple things. First of all, the corner of the blade tags, when they aren't covered, when they're exposed, can um, wear into pockets while you're carrying it. I've found that they can also kind of jab into you while you're carrying a knife, especially if you carry it in your back pocket. And then on a multi-bladed knife, it can create a little bit of a hot spot. If this didn't have the hump and you were holding here, your finger would be pressing into that corner. Now, that's something that a lot of companies, uh, you know, just don't really cover those, those blade corners. Now, uh, the company that I'm thinking of is Gradation Cutlery. Now, I'm a huge, huge fan of Gradation Cutlery, and they make really beautiful knives, but they do leave these corners very sharp. Now, there is an upside to that. Um, the upside to that is that when the knife is closed, or I'm sorry, fully open, there's a really, really smooth and clean looking interface between the um, blade tang corner and the spring. Uh, so, you know, there is an upside to leaving it sharp, but it does create, you know, that hot spot, especially if it's a multi-bladed knife. On the case, that's uh, a little bit less of an issue, the, the hot spot, I, I would say, because they do round and polish the knife so much. So a big difference between case and gradation cutlery is that case does a whole lot of polishing on all the corners and edges to the point where it's almost, you know, overly rounded, at least in some points, especially people have complained of the tips being overly rounded. So it does mitigate that issue somewhat on the blade uh, tang corners, but it's nice to have them completely covered like on the copperhead. And there is another way that they can have these, these corners be covered, and that's what you would call a sunken joint. This isn't really a sunken joint, it's just that this bolster is extended rather than the joint being sunken down in. The bolster is extended to cover them. Um, so that's the, the kind of feature that typifies the copperhead, is this um, humped or extended bolster that covers these uh, blade tang corners and is, is really pretty functional. It's something that I like. And I also just like the look of it. Um, now, why is it called a copperhead? Well, um, supposedly it's because this shape uh, looks like the um, head of a snake, uh, particularly the copperhead. Now, I don't live in an area where there are a whole lot of copperhead snakes. Um, definitely something that I can see if I really try, but a little bit of a stretch, I think. Um, just a name, a lot of knives have different names. Um, interestingly, the German version that I saw apparently translate to, translates to rooster's head um, or hen head, something like that, so like a chicken head. So interesting thing there that they're both named after um, a, an animal, but much different animals. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the, the history of the name. Now, I have seen on several places, uh, forums and dealer sites, the copperhead referred to as the Vietnam knife or the Vietnam copperhead or the Nam copperhead, basically um, just connecting this knife to Vietnam. And supposedly that's because people uh, who were in that war preferred this knife. Now, I've seen that claimed, but I haven't seen any evidence that that's actually the case, that, that the copperhead pattern was carried, you know, 
it more than other patterns in, in Vietnam. Um, in fact, I've seen at least one person who was in Vietnam say that they never saw anyone carrying one. So that's something you might see online that it's called the Vietnam Copperhead or Vietnam Knife. Um, maybe it's true, I don't know. It's hard to verify that type of thing. Um, there's not a whole lot of you know research done in what pocket knives uh, people carry in wars, uh, although something you might be able to look into, but I wasn't able to find much information. But there are other versions of this. So I only have one other version of the, the Copperhead. Uh, and this one is from Queen. And as you can see, this knife actually has that kind of sharp corner. And because the hump on this Copperhead style bolster is not super tall, it doesn't really cover it the whole way. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. It's in abalone, as you can see. Um, one of my favorites, definitely a uh, uh, safe queen for me. I, I actually used to carry it, but now I just display it. Um, but this is a single bladed copper head. And I think that Case did a better job uh, covering that, that corner, especially considering that Queen did not round the uh, corners as much. So that's just another example. Now to give you some comparisons to uh, a couple case knives that, that you might be more familiar with for size comparison, here is a case trapper, the classic trapper, full size, and the Sodbuster Junior. So you can see it's between the two. It's definitely not a small knife. It is, you know, a little bit longer, uh, but it is not as big as the case trapper. And then a similar comparison here, kind of in the opposite direction, we have the Grady's from Cutlery, number 15, it's particularly a TC Barlow, and then the number 71, which is their small sod buster. So you can see, again, it's similar in length to the uh, 71 uh, bull nose and um, a good bit longer than the number 15. So it's not a small knife, it's a larger medium sized knife, I would say, but I've really enjoyed carrying it. I've been carrying this pretty much since I got it and um, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's actually really, really smooth. Um, it has very nice action, no blade play on either blade, uh, snaps open and close with both blades. One big thing that I'm really happy about is that both tips sit well within the frame um, but neither have blade wrap, and I have sharpened it, made sure that it didn't have blade wrap. I really don't think that this one has blade wrap, so I'm really happy with that. And um, it has worked well for me. You know, it's a pretty good size blade on a traditional knife, so you get a good amount of edge. And then you have the pen secondary for smaller things, finer cutting, or as a backup. Um, now, it's not perfect. As you can see, again, it has gaps. It has a gap pretty much the whole length of the knife here. I didn't notice that at first in my unboxing video. And then it has a slight gap here on this side also. Another thing is that the spring for the pen blade sits pretty tall, pretty high uh, in the full open position. Not really a practical thing too much, but something that you would notice. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. The uh, main blade is not perfectly centered, but it's not rubbing at all. Now, of course, I always would prefer that Case either didn't use shields or um, pin their shields. This is only glued, but it's to be expected with Case. So overall, I've been really happy with this knife. I've just been enjoying it a lot. I've been uh, carrying it, using it, and uh, getting getting to know it and really enjoying it. So if, if the Copperhead is something that appeals to you, if you like the look of it, or you like the idea of these uh, blade tan corners being covered, definitely check one out. Um, this one, like I said, is about $50. They do go up from there, but uh, even though it has a few issues, I'm happy with this knife for that price, especially considering you know it's made in the USA and Case does back their knives with a good warranty. Uh, so I've been enjoying the Case Copperhead a lot, and it's a cool knife that has been around for a long time. So I do plan to do a, an article on this knife, so you can check that out. I'll have the link in the description. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I post new videos. Also check out my Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts. And um, last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.